moving on to particular brands of chaos, we have now the F1 movie trailer, which was originally the working title was called Apex. Um, it is now just called F1. That is the name of the movie. I don't know how I feel about that, but we have the trailer. It is out. It exists. And I think it was a little rushed. Uh, no, I think it was a lot rushed. Um, I had, there were some very interesting scenes there. Um, you know, let's all remember that this is going to be a work of fiction. So some of the uh, racing that you will see is, you know, either A, not possible or B, not ever going to happen. Uh, I, you know, the demonstrative owners are, are never that demonstrative, uh, but uh, it has the potential of uh, being this season's, uh, or I should say 2025's, uh, you know, uh, Days of Thunder. Yeah, I, I definitely think that it's going to be a good movie, um, but I do think that they rushed to get footage together um, to turn into a teaser trailer. And this is fully understanding that the, it, it is a teaser trailer. It's not supposed to give a lot away. Um, but I, I do think that they were under a lot of pressure to get something out by this weekend's race. And what they gave us, you know, I'm hyped, I'm excited, but I, the trailer was not the best impression, uh, impression that it could have given us. I do agree. But uh, can we all say that it was wonderful to see Gunter on the pit wall for the first time in a very long time, even though yeah. it was in a fictional movie that has been approved by the FIA? Yeah, no, that that was great. It's it, It's great that, you know, this is not just, you know, a fake formula, you know, a, a fabricated F1 team going up against a bunch of other fabricated F1 teams. Like this is a going against Red Bull, Aston Martin, Mercedes, McLaren, like they say at the beginning of the trailer. So I do really like that. I like what we've seen of, you know, we had so many action scenes that were, were available to us. The, the car that they're using to film is an F2 car that looks like an F1 car that came from Mercedes. So it looks like we're going to get a lot as possible of like, you know, real racing type things. And it did look like a little bit, you know, like a slightly step above real, you know, wheel to wheel racing from what we've been able to see. Um, but you can definitely also tell like what was shot at a live race weekend and what was shot, you know, off season at Silverstone um, when, you know, when, when after the, the strike had already ended and they had to like pick things back up and scramble because the original plan was to film a bulk of those live racing bits in the latter half of the 2023 season, which obviously did not happen. Didn't happen, but you know, there's, there's things like strikes and, you know, you know actions, actions of other, of other unions who uh, said otherwise, but uh, yeah, it, exactly. It, it looks like it's going to be a very exciting and fun movie and I'm looking forward to seeing it. And it's just, it's going to be, um, it's going to be something. Yeah. And I think it's also going to be pretty fun to, to play, like, guess the shot that was filmed at a live race, um, because there were pictures from, from this afternoon's media pen of Lando Norris doing his media responsibilities. And then in the background, you have Brad Pitt doing his media responsibilities in quotes um, for, for the movie. So they're still filming a lot of pickups. Obviously the, the release date is a year out. Um, so there is time, but I'm, I'm really excited to see this movie. And, you know, there's, there's definitely going to be some Easter eggs, some games, some, I think there's going to be a lot of opinions surrounding this movie. And I also think that what's most important, and I'll say this a ton of times before the movie actually comes out, there's going to have to be a lot of suspending your disbelief and suspension of reality in order to like actually appreciate what this movie is going to bring. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But that's why they—that's why they make movies, and it's—it's. It's, I think it's going to be good for the sport. So it will be the week before Silverstone, but that means that there will be a lot of hype for the movie at Silverstone. And that's actually a good weekend because it's before the July Fourth uh, holiday in the U.S., and that will create a lot of hype going into Silverstone. Yeah, this, this is going to be an actual, you know, summer blockbuster of which we haven't really seen, um, you know, to get off track a little bit, we haven't really seen a lot of summer blockbusters lately, especially, you know, post-COVID, post-strike. So this will, this will be, you know, one of them. But